Welcome to this chess endgame review of the underpass, uh, which is an endgame technique that can be used uh, to help promote a pawn. And so in this position, it's white's turn to move. So what would you play here uh, with white to move? And you must be careful in this position as uh, we'll find out here shortly. So if you need time to figure it out, pause the uh, video and take a look and see what you think. All right, uh, let me turn on the evaluation and the analysis. And so here, clearly white is winning, but there is only one move as you can see, according to this evalu evaluation by the computer, that wins. So here, g5 would not work pushing this pawn. And the reason is uh, this king is in the square of the pawn. Now, the square of the pawn is just uh, a technique that you can use to see if a king at a distance will be able to stop a pawn that's trying to promote. So to make the square, you just make a diagonal line from the pawn up to the edge of the board, uh, to the, the edge that it's trying to travel to to promote. So up here, diagonally to c8. And so the square is c8 to c4 to g4 to g8. And we see the king is already in that square. So if the pawn would push forward with this, the king could just move over and stop this pawn after it promotes. And then it would just uh, capture and we'd have a draw. And so the winning move here, if I go back to the beginning, is king to f2. And white will use the underpass technique where the king will pass under the pawn and go around to the other side and be able to uh, get in front of the pawn. And then that will allow this white king to help his pawn promote. So if black moves in, the king moves under the pawn and then around and in front of the pawn. And once this king is in front of the pawn, uh, he will be able to help that pawn promote. And so here, the king, if he tries to get in front here and stop the white king from coming up to try and protect these queening squares, then white can move one square in front of the opposing king and he will have the opposition so now this forces the black king to move left or right uh, or backwards. But if he moves to the side, then white can outflank him by moving forward. And now if the black king tries to get diagonal opposition, um, now here he can just move up. Uh, waiting for the black king to get the opposition, but then he can push this pawn forward. And so that gives white the opposition again, and now he can just move here. And if we have uh, the king moving out of the corner, pawn moves with check, and then the pawn will be able to promote. And so in this position, uh, the underpass technique was used. So once again, that would be the only move to win in this position because the king needs to get around and in front of his pawn to help get the opposition from black and help push this pawn forward. So this underpass technique, once again, is just moving under the pawn and around to the front of it and taking control of these squares in front of the pawn. And so black moves up and white will be able to get the opposition. And if black takes the opposition uh, in the future, as we saw here, the pawn can be 
pushed forward to regain the opposition, forcing Black to step aside. And now White from here controls the Queening Square and the squares leading up to it. And so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review, this endgame review of the underpass technique. And uh, I encourage you to just set it up on a board or on your phone or on the computer or rewatch the video and try and see how the pawn uh, or how the king maneuvers under and around his own pawn to get in front of his pawn to help uh, escort it up to promotion. And so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Thank you and have a great day.